All right, the first thing I'm going to do is take off this shield, which is just these two screws coming through. I take these knobs off. I'm also going to take off this part here, this little hood. All right, now I can take this hood off here. All right, I'm going to take this and just blow all the dust off of it with compressed air, clean up this mess, and then I'll be back. Pretty dirty. Okay, I need to take off this little sweatband head protector off of here now. It's pretty coated with dust as well, so I'll blow that out with compressed air. All right, taking out the lens should be pretty easy. Pops right out of there. I'll take this and clean it. I've got one of those plastic protectors over top of the shield. See if it's dirty enough to bother replacing that. Now comes the interesting part, getting inside here and seeing what the filters look like. <laughs> and they're about as dirty as I thought they were going to be. They're held in there with a couple of zip ties. So I'll get some side cutters, cut those, then I can take these off easily. As you will see in a moment, cutting these zip ties was unnecessary. All right, now I don't believe these are washable, but I will take compressed air blow from the inside to try to clean all of this out. Also, get all of the dust that I can out of the inside here. Wash this up and I'll be back. Well, unless the lighting here is real bad, the camera should pick up that this one is much cleaner than this one. I took the nozzle from my air compressor hose, stuck it inside, blew the dust out, found that it wasn't working that well, but blowing across the outside took most of it off, and then again on the inside. Did a great job. So I'll do this other one, and I will be back. Now if you do buy a set of these filters, they come already mounted on these pieces, but they're easy enough to get out of there and then much easier to put on to this when it's outside of there. And it would have been so much easier if I had not cut the zip ties. Then I'm just going to replace the zip ties that were on there.
All right, one thing. With zip ties, I recommend that you twist them off like that. You don't end up with such a sharp point here like you will if you cut them off. That works pretty good. And I just need to put this back inside there. All right, I'll do the other one and then I'll be back. All right, everything is nice and clean now. It's just time to start putting things back together. I need to just put one of those little tabs in there, spread this out, enough to get that one in, and I can close it up. Might help if I get both of these in here properly. That's better. All right. Well, the only thing I did not do was take the battery out. Now, if you really do want to change the battery, if yours should die on you, just push those tabs in again to release the hood. Once you've got the lid released, there's the battery. You can see the tab. Just pull it out. Put the next one in. Make sure it's working. And you are ready to go. So now I got to remember how to put it all back together. <laughs> As you can see, I have the helmet with the visor toward me. I have the hood, so the front is toward me as well, the little pull tab that you use to bring it down under your chin. And I have the headband also with the front facing forward, the rear adjustment knob to the back. And what I have to do is get the headband inside the hood. Now to do that, I need to take these two bands and put them through these elastic bands. Then put this band in here. I neglected to count how many holes I had this over, but it's easy enough to adjust that later. Now with that in, I can put this comfort band across here. Most of that padding has disappeared, but luckily I have a hard head. I don't think it's gonna bother me too much. Then the front head band will go on, making sure that the Velcro are on the outside so that the comfort part is against your forehead. Now, this part can become tricky. I have to put the hood inside here. And these pieces are called retaining caps. So first thing I have to do is get this elastic around here so that retaining cap holds it in place. And then put this screw assembly through here. And I want to line it up with the hole in the visor. Bring it through. And then put this nut on there. And repeat for the other side. Need to bring this elastic around here.
And now I just need to put all these snaps in place. When the back comes around the adjustment knob and you have it back together and ready to use. Well, I hope I made that simple enough to understand. I know this was actually the first time I took this apart to do this, so I had a little bit of struggling, but it worked out all right. If you did enjoy this, please click the like button. Let me know that I'm doing something right. Share it with others if you think they might like to see it. And that's another step that really helps grow my channel. And if you haven't subscribed before, I hope you will today. And thank you very much to all those who have subscribed and supported my channel. I really, really appreciate you. So I hope you'll come back next time. And between now and then, have a great day in your shop and be safe. Take care now, bye-bye.